uniquely trained and highly motivated. Specialist without equal, immune to any countermeasures. But it is an agency of chaos. The time has come to dissolve the IMF. Now, I want you to choose your next words. Dissolve the IMF? Can't do that. <laughs> Tom Cruise is back as secret agent Ethan Hunt in Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. This time, a new threat has emerged, a rogue network of skilled operatives called the Syndicate. Film critic Richard Krauss joins us with his review of the film and others that are hitting theaters this weekend. We want this to be good. Is it and good? it is good. Mission accomplished. Oh, good. As okay. they say, um, this is the fifth in the Mission Impossible series. I think it's probably the best in really? the Mission Impossible series. Some of the earlier movies, the stories were almost incomprehensible. Cool stunts, uh, you know, good-looking people doing interesting things, but the stories didn't make a whole lot of sense. This story is is a bit more uh, linear. There's a lot of intrigue. Uh, there's a lot of characters, but it was directed and co-written by the guy that wrote The Usual Suspects, Christopher so McCory. So yeah. it makes sense, and there's enough twists and turns to keep it going. And I'm not going to tell you about the whole thing. Just uh, keep in mind that the good guys get lucky while the bad guys can't shoot straight. That's really all you need to know. Uh, but what you're going to these movies for are the stunts and the action. So within the first five minutes of this movie, Tom Cruise is hanging off the side of an airplane that's taking off. It doesn't off. get much better than that, It doesn't. Right? And the way it's shot is, is very cool. But the, the We've all sat on an airplane and looked out the window as the ground slowly disappears, goes, you know, gets lower. And you know what that feeling is like. Okay, well, imagine being strapped to the outside of an airplane and seeing that same thing. In the movie, it looks cool, but what it is is they really strapped him to the side of an airplane that's taking off and was going to eventually be about 5,000 feet in the air. And uh, that gives a sense of realism, uh, sort of a, an organic feel to the movie that gives it some intensity that you just don't get in the movies like the Avengers movies, which are all shot on a green screen with computer-generated effects. There's a bit of green screen stuff here, but most of it actually happened. They jump off the roof of the Vienna Opera House. So I like this movie. Three How many and a half stars? stars? Three and a half. And Tom Cruise already confirming on John Stewart. Number six is coming. I'm sure who. Okay, will be, yeah. vacation. Now, Rusty Griswold may have grown up, but the humor in the movies uh, didn't grow up along with him. So <laughs> no. Rusty Griswold was, of course, the, the son uh, when you know Chevy Chase and Beverly D'Angelo took everybody across uh, America to go to Wally World in the first vacation I love movie. love those movies. Now he's grown up, played by Ed Helm. Uh, his marriage is, you know, just sort of drifting, and he thinks, I have to do something to really spice things up. So he grabs his two boys, grabs his wife, played by Christina Applegate, throw them in the car, and they decide to recreate his, you know, family drive. They go to Wally World. Um, if you took all the, uh, you know, bodily fluid jokes, all the, <laughs> all the anatomical humor out of this movie, it would be about 12 minutes long. Uh. Um, but I'm not a prude. I laughed at a lot of stuff that happens here. But keep in mind that this is a movie about bringing family together, but it's very definitely not a family movie. Okay, okay, got you there. How many stars? Three. Three stars. And last but not least, a Lego brickumentary. I a love Lego, that brickumentary. Yeah, a brickumentary. Uh, this is about the monster brand Lego. Uh, there are apparently 100 pieces of Lego for every person on the planet. Oh this is goodness. one of the, the biggest toys of all time. And this is a very affectionate documentary. It's a two-and-a-half-star movie for me because it really is uh, a, a pretty surface look at why Lego is so popular. If you're a Lego fanatic, you'll find uh, things here that you'll see things that you've probably never seen before. If you're not all about Lego and you want to know what burp means, it means big, ugly rock piece. Oh, that's it, yeah, to me. There's okay. all sorts of Lego lingo that you'll learn, but really it's a, it, it's a pretty lightweight thing. So two and a half, but Mission Impossible, yes. Okay, thank you so much, Richard. You'll find all of Richard's reviews on our website, canadaam.ctvnews.ca.